Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you very much for, for, for the invitation. Uh, I was asked to talk more about the scientific publications, but I, I read a bit. Um, uh, I, I, I want to talk, talk more, also more about the about the excellent excellent science and what we need for excellent science and what are the key elements of excellent science in in Europe and or in the world or also in Slovakia. Uh, Okay, so the, the content is let's say uh, three three parts. Uh, one is the investment in research and innovation. Second one, I'm going to talk about the publication and pa patents, more about the publications, and then the, the last one will be about the excellent science. Um, Marcus mentioned the social scientists like more char more tables than than uh, graphs and charts. I'm a, I'm a historian by education, and, and you will see a lot of charts, a lot of lot of graphs. So uh, I'm probably uh, not not in a, not 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 the, uh, the the same social sciences as, as you mentioned. Uh, yeah. So about the investment in research and innovation. When we are talking about the investment, we are not talking. We usually think that we are talking about money. It's not true. We are talking about the, let's say the four main elements. One is education, second one is, ma uh, is, um, is money, third one people, and the uh, last one uh, is innovation-friendly environment. These are, the, let's say, the most, uh, the, the f most important elements if we would, we would like to have excellent uh, environment or excellent science in the in country. Uh, education, I think, is the most, one of the most important things uh, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the future. Researchers, there, were, there was a study made by OECD uh, where, where the researchers found a very strong correlation between the, uh, the level of, uh, of PISA tests. Uh, I don't know if you know of PISA. There's the, the OECD test for the, for the, for the pupils in the uh, 14, I think 15 years old, and the number of researchers in, in, in uh, each country. So I, I will show you how we are doing in the in the in the education. So we invest uh, in Slovakia. So you can see that we are we are quite below the EU average. So we are the the red red. Uh, you can see see the Slovakian red color. So you can see that uh, we are below Croatia. We are uh, below the below the EU average. Uh, we are a little bit better compared to Czech Republic, uh, Bulgaria, and, R and Romania, but you can see that our investment in non-tertiary education, so it means primary and secondary education, is uh, very, very low compared to, to other countries in, in Europe. So we are not doing very good. How it is with the, with the uh, expedition on tertiary education, so for, for the universities, it's a little bit better. But, but, but once again, not very, not, not very good. We are once again above the, above the, below the EU average. And you can see also very, very below the United States, South Korea, Japan. Uh, so if we would like to have good researchers and innovators, we need to invest more in research and, uh, sorry, in, in education in, in all levels, primary, secondary, and also tertiary level. Uh, Second most important thing in, uh, in for research are people, so usually researchers. And you can see uh, uh, the chart they are, they are focusing on new doctoral graduates per, per 1,000 population in, in the age between 25 and 34 years. And so you can see that we are doing quite good. Actually, we, have, uh, we are doing better than, than Belgium, Spain, Portugal, Austria, France. So we produce per 1,000 uh, uh, 1, uh, uh, citizens more PhD uh, graduates compared to, the, to all these countries. So, and then, then the, the question is where, where the, these people uh, go afterwards. And you can see how, uh, you can see the, the, total, the, the total doctoral graduates and you can see the, the uh, yellow, yellow diamond uh, that means uh, science and technology graduate. So it's also not so not so bad. Uh, so we are good in the producing of, of PhD students or graduates, but we are not so very good in the in the number of, of researchers. You can see that uh, we are over here. Uh, so we are uh, per, per uh, total researchers in full time equivalent of total employment. We are 
a little bit better compared to Italy, uh, but uh, well below EU average and, uh, and Czech Republic, Slovenia, and the other countries. So it increased uh, since 2007, but it's still uh, below EU average. And of course, the most important thing for, for, for everything is, uh, is money. And you can see the investment, uh, research and development investment in, in, uh, in uh, European and uh, new countries. Once again, in Slovakia, it was at a level like uh, 1.18 in 2016. It, decre it decreased in, uh, at the level of 1, 0.79 in 2016. Sorry, 17. So it means that we use a lot of structural funds for uh, for uh, for for uh, to to fund uh, to finance our research, and you can see that we are once again the the uh, the, uh, the black um, the the black one. You can see that, that our target for uh, for 2020. So the, our target was like 1.5 percent of GDP. So it's, we, are almost, we were almost there, but not, not really. And once again, it, dec it decreased. And you know that the, the, the target for the, whole, for the whole EU is to uh, touch 3% of GDP to invest in research and development till 2020. So once again, the, the st we had the same goal in, uh, I think, 2004 in, in this second strategy uh, to, to, uh, to meet the goal in 2020. We didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't do it, and probably we, didn't, we do not do it once again. So that's, that's, uh, that's also, also the problem. So the thing, the, the problem in Slovakia is that there is lack of investment in research and, and, and development uh, at, the, at the national level. The second problem is the structure of, of, of investments. You can see that uh, we are one of the worst countries in the terms of uh, investments, that, investments that are coming from business enterprises. So uh, only 25% of the investment in Slovakia came from business, compared to uh, Slovenia, Germany, where, it's, where it is more than, uh, ten, to, uh, to more than 60, or almost 66% <laughs> or even more. Uh, what is even worse, you can see the the, the yellow ye uh, the yellow part. It's that uh, almost forty percent of the of the, the funding uh, of research funding in Slovakia comes from abroad. And what does it mean abroad? It means this one. So almost ninety percent of all, all overall investment in Slovakia came from European Commission or European Union. It means the structural funds. So it's like uh, more than 0 0.38 or 37 uh, percent of GDP that came from the European Commission. You know that there are problems with the structural funds in Slovakia. So, so previous year, previous two years, we, there, were, there were no call for proposals, and that's also the reason why we decreased in the in the terms of investment in research. So we are really we are really dependent on the on the on the on the European on the European Commission or European Union, and you can see the differences that uh, on the on the left side you have EU EU certain so the new member states with all the structural funds. On the right side you have all you have let's say all the member states mainly Austria, Netherlands, UK, Belgium, and the money that are coming from from European Commission uh, it's uh, the money coming uh, coming from from framework programs from, from Horizon 2020 or FP7. In our case, it's like several percent. It's not, 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 very, much, not very much. OK, about publishing. Um, you know that uh, everybody or every, every researcher should publish and should publish at, uh, as, as often as possible, or the, you, are, you are pressed to publish uh, almost, almost everything. Uh, how? The world changed uh, since 2012. Sorry, in 2000, in the terms of, 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 of uh, scientific publication, you can see this ni nice chart. You, you can see that uh, one third of, of overall pub uh, publication came from European Union. Uh, Twenty-eight percent came uh, came, uh, came uh, from from United States and uh, from from rest of the world. Uh, other 20 percent, etc., etc. This was year 2000. 2000. You can see that. Best uh, country in the European Union was it was the United Kingdom, then Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Netherlands, and other member states. Uh, 
what changed, uh, what, what have changed since uh, till 2016 is this. Uh, China. The publication from, from, from China increased from 2.7% from to 16.7%. So, uh, and our publications from, from EU and, and uh, mainly from US decreased uh, quite, quite, quite radically. Uh, and you have also, also uh, other, other areas of the world. Uh, you have also uh, these uh, BRICS countries, which, which stands for Brazil, Russia, India, and South Africa. But you can see also, also the, the decrease of developed economies, which means uh, South uh, Korea and Japan. So it's, it's really decreased. Uh, the, all the, the things are also quite changing in the, in the terms of scientific publication. You can see the decrease of, of the United Kingdom, uh, Germany, and the decrease is the decrease of, of share of, or of ratio of, uh, of the, uh, from the countries because this happened. In 2000, there were, there were uh, 800,000 or more than 800,000 uh, publications in 2016 more than 1.6 million publications in all, all around the world. This is, you know, that's, that's uh, more about the numbers. But we should talk more about the quality. And when, when we are talking about quality, we usually use the, 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 one, the top 1% one of highly cited, uh, cited scientific publication. We are the best of the best uh, scientific publication. And there are also the, the researchers that are uh, they are uh, they are preparing this kind of publication. They are the researchers that are usually uh, receiving ERC grants and, and other other really really good uh, projects. So this was this was uh, and this, this you can see the change. This was uh, in 2000, 2000. You can see almost 50 percent or 49 percent of the of the highly cited publications came from United States. So. Not so many publications compared to other parts, but very, very good publication from the United States. And EU, and EU 30, uh, 31%. In 2016, uh, once again, it changed. The, the quite a big decre decrease in the United States, slight increase in the uh, in European Union, which usually are, uh, it's probably thanks to the Europe, European Research Council, ESC grant. But once again, really huge increase in China from 0.7% to 9.4%. And China is increasing year by year. And uh, you can see also that the, also the European countries, it's the more or less the same, United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, Netherlands. And also, also sorry, there's a mistake. It was, it was in 2000, there was 8,000 8, uh, publications, and in 2016, 15,000. So once again, almost, dub, uh, almost doubled for, uh, in, in 16 years. So we are changing. So the, 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 also the, the quantity are moving from, from US and from Europe to, to China or to Asia, but also the quality are moving from, from Europe, or mainly from US to China. And you can see that the, the, there is the second, the second possibility to use a top one, 10 percent highly cited scientific publication in, the, in, the, in each country. And you can see the Slovakia once again in, in red. Uh, so we are slightly increasing, but only probably like 6 percent of all the publications that, that were published by, by, by Slovaks uh, did it in top, in, uh, top, one, top, sorry, top 10 percent. So we are not doing very, very good in, uh, also in this, um, these parameters. And you can see Switzerland. Actually, they are like, they are, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can see that Switzerland is the, is the best country around the world. And then uh, United Kingdom, Netherlands, United States, so that's, uh, once again, you can see that there are, there are also, the, also small countries like Switzerland can, uh, can produce the excellent research, and they are doing this. Okay. <laughs> and you can see this in, uh, in, the one, in top one person highly cited scientific publication. Actually, we are, the good thing is that we are better than, than Hungary. <laughs> but we are worse than Czech Republic. <laughs> 
but uh, it's only, let's say, uh, 0.5% of our OSLAC publication uh, did it in, in one per, of top 1% percent highly, highly cited scientific publication. So it means that uh, there are only few Slovak researchers for, that uh, are so good that they can ask for, for example, ERC grants. This is, I think, the very nice, nice graph that they can show you that the more you invest, or the more the state invests in research and innovation, the, there is a bigger pro, uh, possi uh, probability to, uh, to, for, to, for, for researchers to do it in two uh, top 10% highly cited scientific publication. It's of course not the case of Slovakia. <laughs> uh, we, are, we, are, we are below the, below the, the, other, uh, the other investments in, in the research and innovation. But you can see it, it's, it's, it's quite clear. On the, on, the, on the top, you can see that many Nordic countries, uh, Switzerland, uh, um, Netherlands, uh, uh, and Germany, and uh, Austria are doing quite good. On the other side, you can see new member states or the Eastern countries. Slovakia, Hungary, Poland, uh, Croatia, Bulgaria, Romania, and some, some there around the Japan, <laughs> Korea, you can, see, you can see Czech Republic and Estonia. So it's, it means that more you invest in research, more you can, you can expect more, the more you invest, you can expect, you can expect the more for, uh, as, as a revenue in, in terms of scientific publications. And this is, I think, very, very important thing, the, the international co uh, cooperation in, in, in uh, sorry, I heard uh, mistake in, in the first word, uh, the international co scientific co-publication co co per million population. So if researchers cooperate together, they pro usually produce better scientific publications. And you can see that, uh, that uh, once again, the Iceland are, are, uh, are, uh, has, has a very good international co cooperation in, in, in publications. Switzerland, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Luxembourg. So it's not so, so common, for example, in the United States or South Korea, Japan or China, but it's more common in, in, Euro, in European countries. And this is the reason why. You can see that if, there, if the publication has some inter, uh, international cooperation, the, um, the, impact, uh, the citation impact is higher compared to the single country publication. So if you cooperate with somebody from abroad, for in the case of Slovakia, your, your, your uh, citation impact will be like, uh, I think uh, it's 0.3% uh, higher compared to, to single country, country publication. I think this is very, this is very important to, to work together with, with, with researchers from abroad to, to do the common project uh, together. And this is, I think this is very, very interesting uh, chart in uh, uh, focusing on mobility. And it means that uh, if the, the, the yellow one is if, um, and it's not very good for you, <laughs> because uh, for example, in the case of United States, uh, you, can, you can see it over there, uh, there, are, uh, the, the, there, there are researchers that are, they are, they are going abroad, their, their citation impact is lower compared to the researchers that stay in the United States, and even more low, uh, lower compared to the uh, researchers that are, they are coming they are, they are coming to the United States. Uh, this is not very common. For example, in case of Slovakia, you can see that if you stay, your uh, your citation impact is very low. If you uh, if somebody came for, came uh, from from abroad to Slovakia, it's a little bit better. If there is a Slovak that moved uh, that moved abroad and then came back, it's even better. But if there is a Slovak uh, that uh, go abroad, you can see that there is a difference of of probably 0.7 percent. So it's it means that you should you should be mobile if you would like to succeed. If you would like to be a good researcher, you should uh, you should. Be mobile. You should travel. You should you should uh, cooperate with with uh, with uh, researchers from 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 abroad and not just not stay uh, at home. And 
and this could be also interesting for you that uh, the the sector of the of the of the publication of the, of the publication they are they are in among the highly cited scientific publications uh, since we are in the at the university are focusing on on probably two main things one is uh, transport technologies uh, second one is uh, automobiles you can see that the the best country in uh, in automobiles are, are uh, is Japan uh, and if for, for other transport technologies, China, then the European Union, uh, United States, and, and Japan, and, and Korea. So you can see the, the sectors according to the, to the, to the, to the, uh, according to the publications. You can see also that the United States are doing very good in, in many, many of, of fields, like nanotechnologies, materials, ICT, humanities, health, energy climate, biotechnology, bio, bioeconomy, so the, the quality is still, is, is still there. We are doing like in European good, uh, we are doing good in, for example, in energy, uh, more or less in ICT, other transport technologies, space, and bioeconomy. I really like this graph, I'm sorry, I, ju I just found it in, 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 in Czech language, uh, and it's part publication in Scopus. You know, there is a big problem in Slovakia and other countries with pirate publications. I think that everybody has some, some experience with the, with the public, uh, pirate publications. And uh, we are really good in this. <laughs> we are on the, on the second place among, 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 among uh, OECD countries. So it means almost 2% uh, of overall, overall of all publications that were published by Slovak authors were published in pirate publications or in pirate journals, <laughs> and that's the big problem. The, Can you define pirate publication? Um, it's, the, it's the publication that uh, that you should pay for 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 the for the or the, the pirate publication without any quality, without any peer review systems, and you pay like four four hundred euros or more, even 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 more, and they publish you almost everything, and then you uh, then you. You know the the system in in, in Slovakia. I think also in Czech Republic. It's called predator. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so you can, uh, and I think the quite interesting thing is that that we are we are over over here, but our neighbors, <laughs> Poland and Hungary, are on the on the completely different side. And this, this is really, really like a big problem in Slovakia. They are, they are, they are, they are even. In, I think I even saw the, the, the TV, 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 TV um, um, program focusing on the, on the, on the this, uh, this uh, predator publications in, in national TV. There are many, of, many of, uh, of new, uh, many. Um, um, Many, many, uh, many journals are focusing on the on this uh, on this problem because it's like a million dollars or million euros business. The, the overall revenue of the, of these this, uh, journals are more than I think 60 million euros per year. So it's it's really really big business. And the patents. That's once again the the you can see the the chart of the of the of the PCT uh, patents application per billion GDP. So uh, if you if you look at, uh, uh, at Slovakia, it means that our GDP is around 90 billion euros. Uh, so the PCP uh, applications, uh, I think this was in 2015 in Slovakia, was less than pro probably around 49. So we are not petite, pet, uh, we are not uh, petiting as uh, as uh, other countries in Europe or in the United States. You can see it. You can see the Japan; they are doing very good, and Israel. Then uh, in in Europe mainly, mainly Nordic countries. But we are doing very, very, very not, not not very good. And it's also because of the, uh, as I mentioned, of, of, the, of the lack of cooperation between between academia, industry, and the investments from the from the industry in research, and uh, and other things. Okay, excellent science. Uh, that's a really really big issue. I, I don't want to talk very much about about that. I just want to show you some examples. Uh, what what uh, are we? Uh, what are we talking about when we are talking about uh, excellent science? Uh, do you know ERC, European Research Council? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, yes, the European Research Council is a very prestigious grant uh, funded from the European Commission. If you, you can ask for the grants, you can receive uh, from 1.5 million euros to I think 3 million euros or 2.5 million euros for your research. Uh, it's up to you. You can you can you can decide what kind of your research you are, uh, uh, you, are you are going to uh, to to, to pro, um, perform, uh, and you receive this money for five years, and you can do almost everything with uh, with, with with this money. The, the competition is, is in these grants are really really huge. Uh, it means that you can see it in that in this in this uh, in this graph. You have number of ERC grants by country. Uh, if you look very closely, there is no Slovakia. So at the time, we, we didn't have any ERC grant from uh, in Horizon 2020. We had one uh, from in, in a fr summer framework program from, from previous period. Uh, it changed. We have now a second one in Slovakia, which, uh, but yeah. Jan uh, Kac. Uh, yeah, and that's that, that's, that, that's the problem. You can see that there is no Slovak researchers that receive, or that there is no researcher in Slovakia that receive this grant. Since, and there are only one since 2007. So for it's like 2018, for, for 11 years, only one Slovak researcher or research, researcher in Slovakia received this grant. There are, like, I think, five Slovaks abroad that receive that, that received the grant in. Uh, in, I think in Switzerland, in, in Ireland, in France, etc. But only one in Slovakia. By the way, the the the, the, it's the, the one received two, so one uh, one one starting grant and second proof of concept. So there is a only one researcher. They are they are at the same level like like these uh, thousand of researchers for in in other countries, and you can see that even there are there, there are uh, then U.S. citizens that receive the grants. Uh, they, all, of course, they, they had to move to, or they have to move to, to Europe. They, they are not able to do the grant in the U.S. But still, so you can see, you can see that the, the, the scheme is really attractive also for, 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 for foreigners. And you can see that also the most successful countries, UK, Germany, France, and why UK is because the, the system uh, of the ERC grants are the same like in the UK. So you have one principal investigator, one head of the head of the research team who is responsible for for uh, for uh, for, every, for almost everything, and they are doing this for like like for ages. And that's not not the, not the case in Slovakia. The second problem is that there are a lack of support from the from the institutions in in, in, in our country. So if, for example, you are Working in, uh, or if you work in uh, Max Planck Institute, you can see in Germany they have more, uh, uh, around 500 grants. I think more or less 100 of them are, are uh, uh, at Max Planck. You can very easily ask your colleagues, okay, sorry, could you help me with, uh, with, with, my, with my grant preparation? That's not, not possible in Slovakia. That's, that's the, and the, and the, and the Second, second thing is what, what, what Marcus mentioned. If you don't try, you never succeed. And we don't try. There were, there were only, only 55 Slovak proposals. So that's uh, compared, for example, to Czech Republic. Sorry. Compared to Czech Republic, uh, 234 and other countries. So it's, it's like, it's, it's not, not, not very good. And to be honest, the, the competition is really high. The, the success rate is, I think, around seven percent. Uh, so it's 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 really high. And uh, some, but there are like I think there are seven or six or seven uh, Nobel Prize winners. They also receive the the DRC grants. So it's a very prestigious uh, prestigious uh, project. They are really, they are, these are really prestigious projects. And what is, I think, also also quite quite interesting is that uh, you can see that for in the, uh, for example, Czech, Czech Republic is very very successful, but also Hungary and other countries around us. So it's, you can see Czech Republic had uh, has 16 grants, Hungary 23. So it's, they are on the more on the level of, uh, like 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 Norway. So there is a to, uh, there is a lack of uh, of scientific excellence in Slovakia compared to compared to other countries in terms of ERC grants. 
Uh, this, is the, this is the guy that received two ERC grants, the, the uh, um, Jan Kac from Chemical Institute uh, or Institute of uh, Chemical Institute of Slovak Academy of Sciences, and you can see what happened with his, uh, let's say, scientific careers, career. He received a grant in uh, sorry, in 2011, and these are this is uh, his. Uh, uh, Statistic of, of of citation of of his of his publication, and you can see the increase from 2011 till till now. He also asked for two patents. Now he he is establishing a startup company focusing on on healthcare. So you can see that uh, all the the uh, all the things that that probably researchers should do. He started with the basic research. He received a, a really good grant. A really good, good grant. He made uh, results. And now he's establishing a, ca a company and, and moving forward. Uh, but there he's focusing on the on the on the cancer um, uh, on on the on the cancer research. Uh, I think that the, you, you have you ever heard about the Horizon 2020 program? Okay. I see one waving. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. That, that uh, as Marcus mentioned, that the the big part of the of their of their researchers' life is asking for grant, <laughs> and so the Horizon 2020 is the the biggest or the largest uh, world uh, award uh, scientific program or the program that are, that are funding uh, research and in innovation uh, with the overall budget more or almost 80 billion euros. For, for for seven years, for example, the era diet is funded from the from the from the uh, previous uh, framework program from uh, from a seven, seven framework pro program, and you can see that there is also like very big competition also in Horizon 2020. Uh, you can see the success rate is uh, at the level of of certain percent in European Union. In case of Slovakia, it's uh, it's even uh, low. It's around 10%. So if Slovaks ask for the grants, one out of 10 uh, succeed. It's not very good. It's uh, really bad, but we are, we are not, uh, not so bad, like for example, like, like Bulgaria or Latvia, Romania. Uh, but once again, we are not very active in the, in the, in the, in this, in the, in Horizon 2020. You can see, you can see that uh, there are there, uh, there are five. Sorry, just a mistake. There are five uh, researchers uh, participating uh, virtually in, uh, at, at one proposal. Compared, for example, to, to Cyprus, there are uh, probably there are 0 0.2 researchers participating at one uh, one proposal. So you can see the differences. This is even even more, more more interesting thing that how much money we received from the from the from the Horizon 2020 and this is uh, the EU contribution per researcher. Uh, and you can see we are over there. So uh, we receive per researcher like six uh, more, more or less like uh, six thousand euros. It's not very good compared, for example, to Cyprus. Uh, the I, I had to cut it over, over there because Cyprus received like m almost 90,000 euros per researcher. Uh, they, are really, they are really good in, <laughs> in, in Horizon 2020. So, and, so that, and you can see it also in Luxembourg or, or, or Netherlands or Belgium. So there is a potential, but we are not, we are not able to, to ask for more money from the, from the, from the Horizon 2020. And you can see that Czech Republic is even worse compared to Slovakia. But the reason is that Czech Republic has quite a very good national uh, national programs for, for, for research and innovation. So Czech researchers rather, rather go for, for national level money compared to, to Horizon 2020. It's more complicated because you need to have partners from abroad. Uh, you need to deal, deal with everything in English and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so that's, that's the reason why Czech Republic are not doing so good. But for Slovakia, you know that there are no, there are almost no national national schemes for research. You have, we have, we, there are no structural, uh, there were no calls for proposal from the from, from the structural funds. Our great agency has over a budget, I think, 25 million euros, which is per year, so it's nothing. Uh, and we are not 
very active in our, uh, we are not very active in Horizon 2020, and we even do, do not succeed in Horizon, Horizon 2020. So it's, uh, and it's all about the, the international cooperation, because for this project, you need to have international par uh, partners. So we, you need to uh, cooperate with, with, uh, or with institutions from Germany, from, from, from Great Britain, from all around the Europe, but you need to have at least two partners from abroad. And it's it's all, always a little bit complicated for for, for <coughs> us. Okay, that's it from my side. And if you have any questions, um, um, I will be happy to answer it if I will be able. <laughs> No, no, no. That, 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 that you, are, you are completely right. And the, the, the funny thing is, I, I, read an, I read an article in uh, it was a national newspaper. I thought there was a there was a there was a guy who just just uh, graduated in in his PhD, and he, he said, okay, look, if and everybody knows it, if you would like to graduate in PhD in Slovakia, you need to have we call it uh, lines. So we, you have to have at least I think, five publications in, 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 in a current content, public uh, journals, etc., etc. And he, he, he said that, okay, I had a problem with, the, with, with my publication, so I came to my supervisor, which, which is, uh, that is, by the way, the, or at the time she was a dean of one of the faculty in, in Bratislava, in Economic University, and I told her that we have this, this kind of problem, and she told me, there's no problem, actually, we have, we have, uh, we all, we, we, we all, at the faculty, we all publish in the journal in Ukraine, you just need to pay 300 euros per, 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 uh, per article, and they publish you everything. So it, it was the fault of the supervisor, you know, that the supervisor told you, that's, that's a possibility how to, how to someone, someone avoid the, the rules and you can publish in, uh, in, in some obscure Ukraine, uh, Ukraine journal. And actually, no, that's, that's the problem, nobody cares. Then, but the problem, problem is even bigger, because there you have, uh, there is a, the, it's mentioned Scopus. So you, you usually think that in, the, all the journals in Scopus are, are uh, yeah, peer-reviewed. It's not true. It's, it always takes some time to check if, if the, if the, if the, um, if the, if the uh, journal is predatory or not. Or there, there, you know, there, was, a, there was a list of predatory, predatory journals uh, prepared by, 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 I think, two researchers. There, there were like, I think, 6,000 or more than 6,000 6, of, 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 of journals. But some of them, uh, to, uh, some of them wasn't predatory, but they have, but they have some lots of different approaches, but wasn't predatory. So it's it's very hard to for mainly for younger uh, for younger researcher to to somehow find who, what, what, which of the of the of the of the journal is predatory, which not. They usually sh have, should ask uh, the, the, the their supervisor. But if you're a supervisor like it was this dean in, in, in Bratislava, you are in, you are in big trouble. Uh, so to follow on, it's like, um, I've, I've done some reviews in, in other countries as well, and one of the things is that on a national policy level, uh, in particular, the funding for papers to be published directly, meaning um, at times the national government will give out so and so many euros per paper published, and so it incentivizes large yeah. levels of uh, small publications and, and maybe supports this predatory behavior. But the other thing that we noticed is that the institutions, because of course they, they need the money, they then say, well, fair enough. The, the, nation, the national government says you need three or five papers to allow your PhD student to graduate. But the issue in the sense is that the institution 
is now putting the burden of deciding the graduation of the students onto the publishing houses. And the, the issue is, is that as an institution, you have to ask yourself, what do you want of your graduates? Yeah. And I would say, and it's my opinion, I think if you have one good first author publication, you've demonstrated that you can do independent science, you demonstrate that you can write, you can demonstrate that you can do research. Why, why do you have to repeat that so many times? Yeah. And so the issue is at two levels. It's one, the national government, which supports through money and policy, and then the, the institutions themselves that also support this. And now to extend this, I've seen that PhD committees, they basically, some of them in some countries, I won't name which, but the student doesn't even present science at the committee meeting. They say, oh, I went to this conference, I have this manuscript in the pipeline, but not actually showing the data. So the committee themselves of professors, they just check the box, but don't ask a critical question about science. And that's what you want to have a thinking scientist to be challenged and to tell them, see if they're ready to go out in the world and represent your institution. So in the end, the journals are deciding whether the PhDs can go off in the world. Yeah. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. No, that there are. I heard about the, about the story. There was, a, there was a, I think, Polish researcher who moved from, the, I think, Oxford to Poland, and he he, brought, uh, he signed his uh, his contract, and uh, there, there was a contract. Okay, in this year you should publish five uh, current content publications. He said, Okay, I was in Oxford. I published two during I don't know three or five five years. There were there were excellent 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 papers. How, why I should publish five? Because in the project. The funding from the structure fund in Poland. The, the one of the one of the benchmark was to to publish for, for I don't know 100 current content publications. And as you mentioned, with the with the also with the, the, the national funding, and there was a, there was a, the second story was from is from uh, I think from Trnava, uh, and it was once again at a very high level at the university. I think it was also dean in the once again in the in the process. So if you publish the publication in the Whatever uh, journal you you, you 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 want, you receive uh, five thousand euros from state budget as a, as a university, because you have the, 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 the more complicated process, but more or less it uh, you can you can count it on on the level of five thousand euros. So and in the in the in this case of Trnava, it was a faculty of I think mass media communication. The whole faculty published in one once again Ukrainian <laughs> Ukrainian journal, and they receive for. I, I, Thousand of euros, only for, from from the state, state budget. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, you mentioned the US events, Slovakia, and Yeah. Two and a half. <laughs> Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, there are seven or eight. Yeah, I think five or six, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 more, more, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, my question is, like, what is the problem when Slovak scientists are here if they're able to get this ERC grant, this excellent grant abroad and not here in Slovakia? I think the main reason, it, yeah, it's... <laughs> Actually, the thing is that they are Slovaks, but they they, they were educated educated abroad. So I, all of them received their PhD abroad. So that's 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 the thing. And also that's one thing. The second thing is the the, the support from from the from the uh, institution. You know that if uh, you are, as I mentioned, if you are, if you work at uh, Max Planck, you focus on your research on your science. You don't you don't you don't uh, you don't you don't need to deal with. Uh, Technical things with administrative uh, administrative uh, things that that are the dedicated person at the, the institution that do everything for you. Here you should deal firstly with the administrative thing. The second second the second thing is that the, for the ERC grant you need to have some let's say the agreement with the institution because and what, this is very important the uh, ERC gra uh, grants are portable. So if you decided okay I received gr ERC grant uh, at the Julian University but Actually, there are some problems with, uh, with, with Tatiana, and I, I would like to move. You can take the, all, the, all, the, all the grants and you can move wherever you want, want in Europe. 
and that's that's also the, also the, the, the also the, the issue. So it's the, the grant belongs to the to the person, not to the university, and that's uh, so that's when we, when we are talking with, with our colleagues from the ministry, we told them, okay, let's prepare the, uh, for uh, let, let's offer to the, the, to the Slovaks that are abroad some incentives to, to bring him, uh, bring him uh, in, in, uh, back to Slovakia, but no, not, nothing happened. There's even one in Czech Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah of course not, of course not, yeah, yeah of course not, of course not. We don't have to go that far. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's that, 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 that. There was a lady that received the, the grant in in Belgium. Then she she moved uh, to to Austria, to Vienna, very close to Slovakia. It's like 60 kilometers from Bratislava. So that and she she is still there. And there are others. So that they are not need they are not need to move. But uh, you know, that's, uh, for example, uh, Jan Kaj who received the grant the grant at the Slovak Academy of Sciences. Uh, he. He returned from, I think, from Cambridge uh, after after several years. Uh, where, uh, he was there like a postdoc, and he moved back. So that's once again, you should you should go abroad to receive a ERC grant. 